All right, buddy, here we go. Nice and low, 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 low. Go ahead, pop your hands up. Perfect. Nice job. Say, see you in a bit, okay? Hi, my name is Billy Corbett from Retrofit Training Center and Athletic Revolution Central Denver. I want to talk to you today about something I truly believe can help transform the way you work with your young athletes and adults alike. Actually, it's more about the way you work with all humans when it comes to movement. I've been using the rail yard at my training center for the past six years, and it comes it continues to be the most popular piece of equipment in our training center. When a piece of equipment like this comes along and it has the popularity and fun factor that your clientele express, you have to give it more than one look. That's what I did with my athletes and clients, and we've been more than satisfied with it. If you're like me, you want to give your clients the best possible experience each time they walk through your doors. And if you're like me, you'll also want to make sure the experience was something that was useful and informative. And as a business owner, you have to find products that are durable and can be used by many and has very long life expectancy. That's why I recently became a spokesperson for Rail Yard Fitness. And I really want you to take a look at the Rail Yard Obstacle Course and see how this multi-purpose unit is so adaptable to the needs of your clients. We've used the rail yard on every population we train here at Retrofit and Athletic Revolution, and I'll have to say it's our young athletic groups and our youth groups that just love what the rail yard can do. They actually like even being a part of the schematic layout and the planning and the program design that they will in turn be following. We found it to be a great team building exercise because we have such a variety of kids that are in our groups. And when your coaching style is one um, that you're focused on being outcome based, then the rail yard becomes an even better tool because it allows the kids to be creative in what they want to do. We all know that the human body has the ability to climb, lunge, squat, bend, push, pull, twist, and move across the earth. And we call these primal movement patterns. And since they are the way the body's supposed to move, then they really should be in your client's training program. Well, one of the areas where we as a collective fitness coaching group get stuck is in the trainability of kids. While there's still much disagreement on the acute program variables like training load, speed of movements, recovery time, and intensities, it's kind of hard to argue that if we teach people how to move using their primal movement patterns, and that they'll get a benefit from controlling their own body weight. Well, another problem that we have the methods of the trainability of kids is that today most kids train on a in one or two planes of motion or they train on a on a rectangular field that's where their physical conditioning is restricted to that may work for some in the short term but to transform the way we really want to help our clients improve you have to do several things one you got to follow the natural intuition of the body and incorporate it into a workable plan Two, you've got to find something that has enough variety that will engage the brain and challenge the body. And three, you've got to do something that will be perceived as fun. And exercising, or playing as we like to call it, on the rail yard allows you to overcome different challenges that just don't exist with other forms of fitness. As the body moves through space, muscles are constantly adapting to its position relative to gravity and its surroundings. So to add the dimension of verticality, you have up the ante on stimulus. It does this by utilizing three sensory inputs. One is vision, the optical input from the eyes, your vestibular system, or the inner ear, and your somatosensory system, which is the feedback you get from the sense organs and the muscles and the tendons. For example, when you watch one of the kids look and judge the height of one of the higher rails, and they figure out a way to maneuver over or under it, you see their vision playing an important role. Or, Utilizing the uneven half moon surface that the rail yard offers is very good for improving a sense of balance and will obviously work your muscles differently than walking or running on flat ground. Far too few people incorporate balance in their routine, but you can get significant injury prevention just due to balance training. Most of us have been conditioned to stay on the ground and just use our feet as a form of locomotion, but we're capable of doing so much more while using our entire body. It seems more stability and control over our bodies is what we're looking for when it comes to training our clients. And if we want to have the most stability and control of our bodies, we need to train balance on our feet and on our hands. And all this is easily accomplished on the rail yard. The rail yard allows you to deliver so much more to your clients in less time and for more people at one time. Each time we learn a new skill, the brain gets excited 
And if it's a pleasurable experience, it wants to try it again and again and again. So there are many mechanisms of human movement at work while playing on the rail yard. The potential the rail yard offers for creativity in designing your program, its versatility and durability, and most importantly, its ability to generate fun should be something that you naturally want to learn about. Six years ago, we want to learn more about the rail yard. That's what we did. We haven't regretted it one minute since.